Well, with mounting casualties on both sides and talk of the army being sent in to deal with the Ukrainian uprising, the battle to control the narrative as to why this crisis is unfolding is intensifying amongst the mainstream media. And as they seize weapons, take over government buildings and fire on media outlets, the US-backed Ukrainian protesters are being afforded legitimacy with the aid of a Coney 2012-style viral video which triumphs the grassroots nature of the demonstrations, yet is linked to shadowy NGOs that have been directly involved in staging phony colour revolutions in the past. The video, entitled I Am A Ukrainian, already has 3.4 million views. It features an attractive woman insistently claiming that the Ukrainian uprising is solely about freedom and democracy. The video is typically glib and simplified emotional propaganda, which purports to explain that, quote, there is only one reason behind the protests in Ukraine, a bald-faced lie which ignores the multifaceted geopolitical factors behind the uprising, which centre on the tug-of-war between the United States, the EU and Russia. The woman encourages viewers to, quote, help us only by telling this story, only by sharing this video, thereby framing the debate around the naive narrative that the crisis is solely about Ukrainians wanting freedom, and in essence blacklisting the real reasons behind the Western instigated revolt, which focus on the geopolitical isolation of Russia. The origins of the video are not quite as grassroots as is portrayed. The clip was produced by the team behind A Whisper to a Roar, a documentary about the fight for democracy all over the world, which was funded by Prince Moulay Hicham of Morocco. The quote, inspiration behind the documentary was none other than Larry Diamond, the Council on Foreign Relations member. The Council on Foreign Relations is considered to be America's most influential foreign policy think tank and has deep connections with the US State Department. Hillary Clinton even half-joked that she wouldn't have to go far to get her orders because the CFR is just down the street from the US State Department. And Larry Diamond, the inspiration behind the company that produced the viral I Am A Ukrainian video, has worked closely with the National Endowment for Democracy, NED, and the US Agency for International Development, USAID. The National Endowment for Democracy is considered to be the CIA's civilian arm and has been deeply embroiled in innumerable instigated uprisings, attempted coups, and acts of neo-colonial regime change since its creation in 1983. Including the contrived 2004 Orange Revolution that brought US puppet Viktor Yushchenko to power in Ukraine. Larry Diamond also played an instrumental role in the Arab Spring under the auspices of the NED. The Arab Spring which of course was a series of supposedly grassroots revolts that were in fact organised and managed by some of the most powerful Western institutions on the planet. Diamond's connection to the viral I Am A Ukrainian video clearly suggests that the clip is a crude effort to convince an unthinking public that the Ukrainian uprising is completely organic and is not being instigated by Western powers, when the opposite is in fact the case. The clip is reminiscent of the Coney 2012 scam, where a viral video utilised simplified propaganda and emotional manipulation to convince millions of people of the necessity of US military involvement in Africa. In a Huffington Post interview, the creator of the I Am A Ukrainian video, Ben Moses, admits that he was in Ukraine, quote, preparing a film on democracy, undoubtedly inspired again by the National Endowment for Democracy's Larry Diamond, before the protests even started. Providing absolute confirmation that the video is a carefully thought out public relations stunt, the woman in the video was immediately invited to appear on CNN with Anderson Cooper in a segment that will be broadcast tonight, the 20th of February. 
Cooper and CNN aggressively pushed the Coney 2012 hoax until it fell apart when one of the directors had a public breakdown. Cooper was also heavily involved in promoting the fake Syria Danny hoax that relied on staged footage to push for US military intervention in Syria. With clear evidence of protesters being paid amidst accusations that they were armed by the United States, the narrative behind the Ukraine crisis is clearly more complex than a mere grassroots revolt against corruption. The pro-EU protesters are bizarrely seeking closer ties with the European Union infamous for its institutionalised corruption, malfeasance which costs almost the same each year as Ukraine's entire GDP. Many of the activists taking over government buildings in Kiev are also from the Spilna Sprava group, which is an organisation wholly funded and supported by billionaire globalist George Soros's Open Society Institute. The stage was set for the Ukraine revolt to become violent in December, when US Assistant Secretary of State for Europe, Victoria Newland announced that the US would invest $5 billion in order to help Ukrainians achieve, quote, a good form of government. The true nature of that government was revealed earlier this month when leaked phone conversations emerged of Newland conspiring with US Ambassador to Ukraine Jeffrey Payat to pick Ukraine's future puppet leaders, making good on John McCain's vow to neutralise Russian influence. It's important to stress that the unfolding crisis in Ukraine is not a black and white issue. It's not an organic revolt that emerged simply out of frustration about corruption within the Ukrainian government, nor is it completely contrived in terms of being a faux colour revolution. There are certainly elements of both within the vast array of protest groups. But now with the mainstream media and CNN jumping on the Coney 2012 style hoax of this viral I am a Ukrainian video, millions of people will never know the truth behind the Ukraine uprising because it's somewhat more complex than an attractive girl making glib statements about freedom and democracy for two minutes on a YouTube video. This is how propaganda works. The simpler, the better. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.